What if I told you there's an element that helped us go from basic glassware to space-age technology? Boron, element number five, is everywhere around you, from the smartphone in your pocket to the heat shields protecting spacecraft. Today, we'll uncover how this overlooked element became one of the most important players in modern science. Boron's chemical symbol is B, and its atomic number is five. It's a metalloid, meaning it shares properties of both metals and nonmetals. Naturally found in compounds, not as a pure element. Borax and kernite are both found in deserts like California's Mojave and Turkey's Barat mines. Fun fact, boron makes up 0.001% of Earth's crust, but without it, modern technology would collapse. Even if you've never heard of boron, you've used it today. Boron compounds are in glass, ceramics, and detergents. Borosilicate glass, used in Pyrex and space telescope mirrors, resists heat and cracking. In agriculture, boron is an essential micronutrient for plants. Without it, global crop production would plummet. Its fibers are stronger than steel, but lighter than aluminum, making them critical in aerospace engineering. Boron carbide is one of the hardest substances known used in bulletproof vests and tank armor. Boron nitride is a heat-resistant, electrically insulating material used in microchips and spacecraft components, while borophene is new 2D material stronger than graphene with potential applications in quantum computing and superconductors. It also has uses in magnets inside electric vehicles and wind turbines. Boron's story starts long before scientists isolated it. For centuries, people traded borax, a boron compound, along the Silk Road to use as a flux in metalwork and as a glass additive. In fact, the word boron ultimately comes from borax, itself traced to Arabic burak and Persian bura. But the element boron was first identified in 1808, twice, independently. In Paris, Joseph Louis Gay Lussac and Louis Jacques Thénard heated boric acid with potassium stripping away oxygen and producing a dark, impure form of boron they called bore. Around the same time in London, Sir Humphrey Davy used chemical reduction and electrochemical methods and proposed the name borachium. Over time, the modern name boron stuck. Those early samples weren't very pure. Big improvements came later. In 1892, Henri Moisson prepared boron by reducing boron oxide with magnesium. And in 1909, Ezekiel Weintraub produced 99% pure boron by reducing boron halides with hydrogen at high temperature. Only with these breakthroughs did the element's true properties become clear. Boron plays a growing role in clean energy solutions, used in solar panels to enhance conductivity, integral to nuclear control rods in reactors, because it absorbs neutrons. Being researched as a potential hydrogen carrier for next-gen fuel cells, Scientists are exploring boron-based fusion fuels to revolutionize clean power. Boron is vital for bone growth, hormone regulation, and brain function, but only in tiny amounts. It also has uses in cancer therapy via boron neutron capture treatment. At the moment, this is an emerging experimental procedure, while some boron compounds are used in medicines and nutritional supplements. Here's a few fun facts. Boron filaments helped build the space shuttle Atlantis. It's used in fireworks to create a bright green flame. Its compounds are in insecticides, rocket fuels, and even hockey sticks. And did you know, the largest boron reserves are found in Turkey, supplying over 60% of the world's boron. Boron might not be as famous as gold or silver, but without it, modern life wouldn't exist. From smartphones to spacecraft, Boron is powering the future. In the next video, we'll explore carbon, the element that forms the basis of life itself.